what you see here is a part of the um, grant that was awarded to Texas AgriLife Research by USDA, United States Department of Agriculture, um, under a, a program called Specialty Crops Research Initiative Program. Our project, five-year-long project, was funded, and uh, we are through the first year, and we are now into the second year of the project. And the main goal of the project is to develop cultivars of major turf grasses uh, that, that are drought as well as salinity tolerant. And um, for the, the idea is to target the south and the southeast region and the industry, turf grass industry. And as part of this project, uh, we will be looking at five different turf grasses to include Bermuda grass, uh, St. Augustine grass, zoysia grass, uh, and seashore past palum. Those are the four warm season grasses, and we are also going to be looking at uh, one cool season grass, uh, just annual rye grass. This is a collaborative project between five universities uh, from south and southeast to include Texas A&M, or I should say Texas AgriLife Research, um, Oklahoma State University, um, University of Florida, University of Georgia, and North Carolina State University. So all the turf grass breeding programs from these five universities have gotten together, again, with one goal in mind, and that is to produce uh, the best drought and salinity tolerant turf grasses. So we are here at the um, uh, St. Augustine Grass Space Plant Nursery, and we are looking at 160 uh, experimental lines of St. Augustine grass that were contributed by Texas AgriLife Research and Turf Grass Breeding Program from North Carolina University. So these 160 experimental lines have, are replicated twice here and uh, this year, uh, the first year, was the establishment year and so we were giving them the, the optimal conditions for watering and irrigation, um, uh, fertility, uh, mowing, just the best conditions so that to promote their establishment. Realize that they, these were, were planted at, on four inch plugs and the idea is to allow them to fill into a three by three, three, three feet by three feet plot. And uh, next summer, next year, uh, these will be stressed. These plants will be stressed out. Uh, the water is going to be shut down for a couple of months. Um, and the idea is to select the three to five percent survivors, three to five percent good performers. So just at the establishment phase you can see um, you know some of the genetic variability. Now these all have been treated the same but you can still see the differences in terms of how, how much they have spread, the color, um, the texture, the density of the grass and uh, which is what we are taking notes on this year and we'll continue to do that uh, next year but again the next year the emphasis is going to be on selection of drought tolerant material and the material that three to five percent material that will be selected next year will then be studied in further detail and maybe on, on a bigger plot not three by three maybe let's say ten by ten plots um, again at all five universities to include seven locations um, and, and some of those material will be also tested uh, under the rainout shelter as well as in the greenhouse to screen for salt and drought uh, and again the idea is that um, after going through the cycle of space plant nursery and replicated trials for the next five years, we would have identified the best cultivar for our industry.